Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss uh, some important MCQs on economics for your upcoming Maharashtra B.A.C.E.T. 2023. So if you are preparing for Maharashtra B.A.C.E.T. 2023, as you all know the examination will be for 100 marks and there will be 100 questions. Each question will carry one mark. 30 questions will be on general knowledge. 30 questions will be on teaching aptitude and remaining 40 questions will be on uh, mental ability. So if you are preparing for Maharashtra B.A.C.E.T. you need to go through these general knowledge questions and in general knowledge there are sub uh, sub units such as history geography economics political science and also current affairs so in this lecture we are going to discuss some important mcqs on economics and friends for your maharashtra b.ed cet 2023 the global online has come up with a full pledged course in this course you will get daily live lectures you will receive full syllabus notes then 10 full syllabus mock tests are available 2000 plus MCQ question bank is available. This material is available in both the languages in English and also in Marathi. Here the fee structure is just 1000 rupees. If you want to join, you can contact these given numbers or else you can also download the global online app from the Play Store. So this app is available in the Play Store. You can download and you can register yourself by using email ID or phone number. Then you can search Maharashtra B.A.C.E.T. 2023. Then you can access our material. Now let us move to the MCQs. Here the first MCQ is Aam Admi Bima Yojana was launched on Option A November 14, 2011 Option B March 5, 2009 Option C March 10, 2008 Option D October 2, 2007 Yes, here the right answer for this question is Option D October 2, 2007 Yes, Aam Admi Bima Yojana, it was launched on 2nd October 2007. So it is a social security scheme. It is, uh, it is that is targeted toward the low income families. Yes, please remember Aam Admi Bima Yojana, it is uh, implemented for the benefit of low income family. And it was launched on 2nd October 2007. So here the right answer will be option D, October 2, 2007. Question number 2. Who gave the call for Evergreen Revolution? Option A, M.S. Swaminathan, Vargis Kurian, Option C, Tribhuvan Das Patel, Option D, H.M. Dhadar. The correct answer is Option A, M.S. Swaminathan. Yes, M.S. Swaminathan is known as the father of Green Revolution in India and he was a farm scientist and he has given a call for evergreen revolution and also remember Varghese Korean is associated with white revolution that is milk production question number three yes you can also comment the answers just write the question number and then the, then write the option then it is very easy to find question number three income tax in India was introduced by Option A, William Jones. Option B, James Wilson. Option C, Nicholas Calder. Option D, Mahavir Tyagi. Yes, who introduced income tax. It is the tax which is imposed on the income of the people. So, it is a type of direct tax. Yes, you can comment the answer for question number 3. William Jones, James Wilson, Nicholas Calder and Mahavir Tyagi. The correct answer for this question is option B, James Wilson. The in 19th century, it was uh, running British rule in India. Then here, um, this income tax, sorry, by mistake, I have taken other explanation here. Ma, just here, uh, remember, sorry, uh, to fill that uh, year following the mutiny of 1857, the British government faced an acute financial crisis. So here, the first income tax act was introduced in February 1860 by James Wilson. Yes, please remember uh, the income tax, it was implemented in the year of 1860 by James Wilson. During that period, uh, British rule was running in India. So yeah, British government faced financial crisis. So to fill this gap, James Wilson, uh, so James Wilson implemented uh, income tax. Question number four: The midday meal scheme was launched on option A, August 15, 2000; 
ऑप्शन बी अगस्त फिफ्टीन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू ऑप्शन सी अगस्त फिफ्टीन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव ऑप्शन डी अगस्त फिफ्टीन टू थाउजेंड वन इस वेन वॉज मिड डे मील स्कीम लॉन्च इस कमेंट द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी अगस्त फिफ्टीन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव इस नेशनल प्रोग्राम ऑफ मिड डे मील इन स्कूल्स इस हेयर द मेन एम इज टू इंक्रीज द एनरोलमेंट इस टू इंक्रीज द अटेंडेंस अटेंशन अटेंडेंस रिटेंशन then improve the nutritional status of the children and it is a centrally sponsored scheme and it is introduced in on 15th august 1995 yes james wilson is the right answer now question number 5 securities and exchange board of india cb was established on option a april 12 1988 ऑप्शन बी जुलाई ट्वेल्व नाइनटीन एटी टू ऑप्शन सी जुलाई नाइन नाइनटीन एटी एट ऑप्शन डी जुलाई फाइव नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव यस यू कैन कमेंट द आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव सी बी वॉज एस्टैब्लिश्ड फोर ऑप्शन सर गिवन यू कैन ऑल्सो रीड द क्वेश्चन इन मराठी यस लेट मी मूव टू द राइट आंसर The right answer is option A. April twelve, nineteen eighty-eight. The Security and Exchange Board of India, that is SEBI, it is the regulator of the securities and commodity market in India. It is owned by the government of India. It was established on twelve April nineteen eighty-eight and given a statutory powers on thirty January nineteen ninety-two through the SEBI Act nineteen ninety-two. Question number six: The Ministry and Program Implementation has an independent ministry came into existence on option A October fifteen nineteen ninety nine, option B January fifteen nineteen ninety eight, option C September fifteen nineteen ninety nine, option D June fifteen nineteen ninety nine. The Ministry and Program Implementation. Yes, it is an independent ministry came into existence on October fifteen, nineteen ninety nine. Option A is the right answer. The Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Yes, yeah, it is it is implemented on fifteen, ten, nineteen ninety nine. After the merger of the Department of Statistics and the Department of Program Implementation. Question number seven. In India, the term "black revolution" is associated with option A, self-dependence in the production of coal; option B, nurturing the black soil; option C, self-dependence in the production of petroleum crude oil; option D, self-dependence in the production of black crop. This, what do we mean by "black revolution"? The correct answer is option C. Black revolution. It is related to self-dependence in the production of petroleum crude oil. Option C is the right answer. Crude petroleum. It is originally found in black color. It is also known as the black gold. Yes, please remember, petrol is known as the black gold. So, in in order to increase the production of crude oil, the term black revolution was coined in India. now question number 8 national rural health mission national rural health mission was launched in option a october 2000 payu option b august 2000 payu option c april 2000 payu option d july 2000 payu The correct answer is option C, April 2005. National Rural Health Mission. It was launched in the year of 2005. The National Rural Health Mission (NRHM) it was launched by the Honorable Prime Minister on 12th April 2005, and it is for the providing of accessible, affordable, and quality health care to the rural population. 
especially for the vulnerable groups of rural areas question number 9 government has merged annapurna scheme with option a national old age pension scheme option b ujwala option c irdp option d none of these Yes, here the right answer for this question is option A, National Old Age Pension Scheme. Government has merged Annapurna scheme with National Old Age Pension Scheme. The Annapurna scheme has been launched with effect of 1st April 2000. It aims to providing food security to meet the requirement of those senior citizens who thought eligible have remained uncovered under the National Old Age Pension Scheme. And both these schemes have been merged for better implementation. Question number 10. Mira said committee was related to Option A. Development of handlooms Option B. Sex dis discrimination at workplace Option C. Female Forticide Option D. Banking sector Mira said committee was related to the correct answer is option A, development of handlooms. Mira seat committee, it is related to the development of handlooms. Question number 11, national income estimates in India, he is prepared by, national income estimates in India is prepared by, option A, planning commission, option B, reserve bank of India, option C, central statistical organization, Option D, Indian Statistical Institute. Here the correct answer for this question is Option C, Central Statistical Organization, that is CSO. Yes, National Income Estimates in India, it is prepared by Central Statistical Organization. Question number 12, Earn While You Learn scheme has been launched by Option A, Ministry of Tourism. Option B, Ministry of Youth. Option C, both A and B. Option D, none of these. Yes, Earn While You Learn scheme. It is. It was. It has been launched by Ministry of Youth. Yes, uh, Earn While You Learn scheme has been launched by the Ministry of Tourism. Sorry, option A is the right answer. Yes, please make a correction here. Uh, earn While You Learn. It was implemented by Ministry of Tourism. Question number 13. Monopolies and Restrictive Trade Practices that is MRTP Act was passed in the year. Option A 1970, Option B 1969, Option C 1971, Option D 1968. Yes, MRTP Act it was passed in the year of 1969. Sorry, here the right answer, uh, yes, the right answer is option B, 1969. Monopolies and Restrictive Trade Practices, MRTP Act, it was passed by the Parliament on 18 December 1969, please remember. And it got presidential assent on December 27, 1969, but came into force in the year of 1970, yes, this you must remember here. MRTP Act, it was passed in the Parliament in the year of 1969, but came into force on 1970. So the right answer is option B, 1969. Now question number 14. At present, the number of nationalized banks are option A 19, option B 17, option C 15, option D 12. At present, the number of nationalized banks are this uh, Bank of Baroda, Bank of India, Bank of Maharashtra, Canara Bank, Central Bank of India, Indian Bank, Indian Overseas Bank, Punjab Sindh Bank, Punjab National Bank, State Bank of India, Uco Bank and Union Bank of India. Yes, present all these 12 banks are nationalized. So option D is the right answer. Yes, option D is the correct answer. Question number 15. Unit Trust of India, UTI. It was bifurcated into UTI 1 and UTI 2 in the year. Option A 2005, Option B 2000, Option C 2003, Option D 2001. The correct answer is Option C 2003. 
yes the uti unit trust of india it was bifurcated into uti 1 and uti 2 in the year 2003 question number 16 in india yellow revolution is associated with option a production of tea option b production of oil seeds option c production of flour option d production of paddy here the correct answer is option b production of oil seeds yellow revolution it is uh, associated with production of oil seeds question number 17 the program which was launched in 1974-75 with the main objectives of improving the utilization of created irrigation potential is option a command area development option b cordial area development option c copper area development option d cop authority development the right answer is option a command area development the program which was launched in 1974-75 and the main objective of this program is improving the utilization of created irrigation potential this program is known as the command area development question number 18 the first pulley indian bank is option a punjab national bank option b central bank of india option c canara bank option d state bank of india the right answer is option a punjab national bank first pulley indian bank is punjab national bank question number 19 the total number of national highways in the country is option a 220 option b 225 option c 228 option d 223 the right answer is option c 228 the total number of national highways in the in, in the country is 228 Question number 20. SEBI which was established in April 1988 stands for Option A. Share and Exchange Board of India Option B. Securities and Exchange Board of India Option C. Securities and Exchange Bureau of India Option D. Security and Economic Board of India Yes, already we have discussed one question on SEBI The right answer is Option B. Securities and Exchange Board of India Yes, CB Securities and Exchange Board of India, it is first established in the year of 1988. It was a non-statutory body for regulating the securities market. And it became an autonomous body by the Government of India on 12 May 1992. Question number 21. The Chairman of 13th Finance Commission was Option A. Vijay Kelkar Option B. K.C. Negoy Option C. Nanda Kishor Singh Option D. Y.V. Reddy the right answer is option A, Vijay Kelkar. The chairman of 13th Finance Commission was Vijay Kelkar. Question number 22. The National Food for Work Program was launched in Option A, November 2004 Option B, April 2003 Option C, May 2002 Option D, April 2000 The National Food for Work Program Yes, it was implemented in the year 2004 yes nfwp it stands for national food for work program it is launched by the ministry of rural development uh, then in the year of 2004 in november under this scheme 150 backward districts are provided with the necessary resources question number 23 the number of finance commissions set up up to now is Option A 13, Option B 14, Option C 15, Option D 16. The right answer is Option, sorry, the right answer is Option C 15, not A. Option C is the right answer. The number of finance commission set up up to now is 15. Question number 24. The number of finance commission set up up to now is option c 15 sorry the question is repeated now question number 25 
how many regional rural banks are working in the country till 31st March 2010? Option A 85, option B 81, option C 82, option D 93. The correct answer is option C 82. Yes, uh, 82 regional rural banks are working in the country till 31st March 2010. Question number 26. Whose name is associated with formulation of planning strategy in second five-year plan? Option A. Mahatma Gandhi. Option B. Jawaharlal Nehru. Option C. Prasant, pra, Prasant Chandra Mahalanobis. Option D. B, uh, B. R. Shenoy. Yes, whose name is related with second five-year plan? The correct answer is option B. Option C. Mahalan OBs, yes, PC Mahalan OBs, Prashant Chandra Mahalan OBs is associated with the formulation of planning strategy in second power plan. So, option C, PC Mahalan OBs is the right answer. Question number 27 Green Banking Channel has been launched by Option A, Punjab National Bank, Option B, State Bank of India, Option C, Reserve Bank of India, Option D, Bank of Baroda. The correct answer is option b state bank of india yes green banking channel it has been launched by sbi state bank of india question number 28 navaratna status is concerned with option a public sector companies option b private sector companies option c both a and b option d none of the above here the correct answer is option a public sector companies Navaratna status is concerned with the public sector companies. Question number 29. Finance Commission is constituted after every option A 3 years, option B 5 years, option C 6 years, option D 4 years. The right answer is option B 5 years. Finance Commission it is constituted after every 5 years. Question number 30. The Indian state which was the first to release state level human development report in 1995 was Option A Madhya Pradesh, Option B Maharashtra, Option C Ma Kerala, Option D Tamil Nadu. Yes, here the correct answer is, uh, you have to comment the right answer in the comment section because this question is homework for you all. And if you are preparing for Maharashtra B.A.C.E.T. 2023, the global online has come up with a course here. In this course, you will get daily live lectures, full syllabus notes are available, 10 full syllabus mock tests are available, 2000 plus MCQ set is available. The fee structure is just 1000 rupees. You can contact these numbers to join. You can also download the global online app from the Play Store and you can register for this course. Yes, I wish all the best to all. Thank you.